Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about the QGIS Graphical Modeler. Now, the QGIS Graphical Modeler is something that allows you to create complex models using a simple and easy to use interface. When working with GIS, we all know that most operations are not isolated, but rather a chain of operations instead. So using the Graphical Modeler, that chain of processes can be wrapped into a single process, thereby saving time and effort, especially for large multi-process algorithms and when you need to do something multiple times. To start off, I might give you a really simple demonstration of perhaps a workflow that I might use and then apply that workflow to Graphical Modeler to give you a demonstration of, I guess, the potential that it would have. Note that this is going to be a really simple example and in this case, probably not worth developing a kind of workflow in Graphical Modeler, but it's just to kind of demonstrate what you want to do. So I've got this digital elevation model of Sydney and let's say we want to just create, you know, a simple extent of where your topography information is. So um, in this example, I just want a, a bounding box of, I guess, my my raster layer. Uh, I'm sure there are some tools that can do it in one step, but the way I'm thinking, there's a tool called Polygonize. Um, so if I go to my processing toolbox, there's this tool called Polygonize. <laughs> Polygonize. <laughs> if I pronounce that right, and it's changing a raster to a vector, basically creating polygons out of your raster. So let's hit that. I think it's a GDAL tool, but I, I might be mistaken. Um, my input layer is my DEM, so let's select that, and then I'll just leave everything as default. So let's hit run. Okay, so that's done now, and it's created this massive shapefile with, I guess, hundreds and hundreds of polygons. So it, it's kind of what I want, but not quite. I just want one simple box. So the way I will transform this is to maybe dissolve. Dissolve is a tool that allows you to kind of just merges everything together. So my next tool is going to be Dissolve. I've got the vectorized layer. I'm just going to hit OK and we'll wait for that to load. Okay, I've finished. So we've pretty much got the desired outcome. So we've gone from a DM, we've polygonized it, and then we've dissolved it to create one simple kind of polygon showing the extent of our um, DEM. Okay, so now we have this polygon. Um, we can do this all in one step. Whilst, it was a turn whilst we're turning a two-step process into a one-step process, this is again just a demonstration of how we can use Graphical Modeler to save a little bit of time. So if we go down to the processing dropdown, there is this Graphical Modeler uh, tool we can use. And what it allows us to do is we can use the graphical um, user interface, the GUI, um, to automate this process. First thing we want to do is select an input to our graphical model. The input, if you recall from our polygonized tool, was a raster. So in the graphical modeler, there are a whole bunch of different parameters you can choose from, and we want to be able to choose a raster layer. So let's scroll down and find the raster layer. There it is there. If I double click on that, we can give it a description, um, which allows the user to know what the input needs to be. So we can just call this uh, raster layer. And in the comments, you can provide a, a description of what more specifically of what you want to input. So we can call it raster layer, which you want to develop a bounding extent for. Okay, and then we can hit OK. And then we can now choose a number of algorithms to take in the input. So you can recall the first algorithm we used was polygonize. And there it is there. And when you click on that, you have a whole bunch of parameters that you can populate. So the input layer, we want to use the model input that we provided earlier called raster layer. And I'm happy to keep everything else as default. default. Hit OK. So now you can see that the polygonize tool takes the raster layer as an input. 
after we ran the polygonize tool, we used the output from that and inputted it into the dissolve tool. So our next algorithm is going to be dissolve. And now it's slightly different. In the input layer, you can either choose a model input that you specified earlier, or you can specify the output from an algorithm that you've just run. So we're going to do that. So we have an algorithm output. And by default, it picks the most recent one. But if you run this a couple times, you'll have a drop down of all the different outputs that you've run today. Um, again, I want to keep this as the default. And then since that's the final step of our workflow, we can now provide a name to this output. So let's just call it um, raster extent and hit OK. So that is our workflow pretty much. Now we can save that to our, to our workspace. Let's give it a name. Um, I've made one earlier called raster boundary. Place that. And then we can add it to our workspace and close this. Now in our processing toolbox, we've got all our general algorithms that Judas comes default with. And then you have a selection of models that you have so here we've got the raster boundary that we've just developed. And if it's not here, you can add it by going to this little gearbox on the top left and hitting add model to the toolbox and then finding wherever you've saved that model previously. So if we double click on this, we just have a simple input here. Um, and if we click on that, it's like the DM that we had before and hit run. Hopefully, we'll get the extent of our DEM or of our raster based on the algorithm steps we provided it earlier. So we'll just wait for that to load. Okay, so that's done running, um, and we get one simple output. It's called raster extent, and it's pretty much exactly what we wanted it to do, just to get a simple polygon bounding the raster extent that we had earlier. So that's pretty much it. Um, Hope you got a little th bit out of this, and um, I'd be interested to hear your ideas and how you could apply the graphical modeler to your day-to-day -day usage. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about in this video or anything at all, feel free to leave a comment in the comments section below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.